Uh, we do a lot of collaborative work with other professors in uh, materials, photonics, microelectronics, whatever. Uh, what you see here is the normal sort of uh, semi-clean lab with where we use clean benches. Uh, you also see the scanning electron microscope down there. We're going to walk by a little window area where you can look into the inner lab, the class 10 clean room. And there we have equipment for nano imprint lithography. We used to have quite a bit of x-ray lithography, although we stopped uh, working on that. We have the EV evaporators, the active ion etchers, uh, uh, and some uh, you know, atomic AFM, and STM, chemical, uh, a clean chemical hood, cleaning station, some uh, reactive ion etching system, did I say that? Several of those, and, uh, uh, and microscopes. Or yes, contact printing. What you have behind here here is a uh, reactive ion etching system that we uh, uh, organize. I mean, basically, the whole we make a lot of our own equipment uh, because of the specialized work we do. We just first of all, you can't afford to buy the equipment that they use at the semiconductor. You see, maybe if we could afford to buy it, it wouldn't be the job you want to do anyhow. So we might as well make our own stuff to get the This is a you you will explain all, all, all of this to be later. on, you know, making our own equipment, making, developing stuff that's sort of beyond the ordinary state of the art. And uh, that, that's a good example right there. We developed over a number of years a uh, uh, interferometric alignment system that works better than anything you can, you can buy. Interesting. And I, I guess I didn't get a chance to show you down where the, they have the e-beam lithography. There's also, uh, we're developing a a technique we call zone plate array lithography, which uh, uh, not too many years ago to replace the e-beam lithography, but also do it <laughs> at much higher throughput, and uh, and also actually I'm quite sure we'll replace the contact printing. It's a photon-based system using an array of a thousand zone plates, writing in parallel, so we get a very high throughput. We spun off a company to develop that uh, technology, not to not to develop it, but to commercialize it. What's the sonic speakers do? Does that give you vibration? I, yeah, it's point, the point students six. late at night. They play uh, music that I don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably the big development for nanotech. What's that? Uh, Nano music? waves. Yeah, oh. you never know. Well, come on. I don't know. But sure. Uh, okay. Okay. Hang on. What company you said this? We spun over a company called Lumaray. Lumaray. Okay. The company I'm the president and founder of. And, uh, we're surviving on SBIR grants at the moment. Oh, and uh, we'll have okay. a prototype completed by uh, the end of November, and we'll be taking samples in from people. Uh, but, you know, we're, we're, we're surviving on uh, on government money rather than venture capital money. Well, no, I chair one of the IEEE groups, and we're always looking uh -huh. for speakers. You get a free dinner and a light panel. We do talks at Sun's computer. And, and this, is, this is the environment. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you just right. you can look it up. It's yeah. IEEE. Oh, Boston I, oh, I, I remember. <coughs> I know about this. But it's thing. on packaging. We try to find interesting things on packaging oh, technology. Uh -huh. We haven't yeah. done one on, uh, on nanotech yet. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. It's a, a white... Uh, What's your last name? Smith. I'm Hank Smith. Smith. Hank Smith. That's right. Yeah. Okay. I attended some of yours.